Bye. Hey guys, it's Kelly, and today's video is of this cute little guy. He is a mini golden doodle, and right now he just got out of the bathtub. I have him partially dry, but I wanted to show you that his coat is really prone to matting. That soft, cottony um, undercoat that he has mats up really quick, so he actually gets groomed pretty regularly, but even still, he does come in with quite a bit of matting that I do have to work out. But before we get to his dematting and brush out, it's time to clip his nails. So this little guy is just so sweet. I love grooming him so much. So you can see I gave him a little love there. Um, he does not love his nails clipped. Um, does any dog? I don't think so. But he does put up with it. You can tell he just kind of turns away and tries to ignore what's going on. But he sits very good for me. And I give him lots of little breaks. Like you can see I'm just scratching his face there telling him he's a good boy. And I have the volume turned off on the actual footage, but if you could hear me, I'm usually talking to the dogs the whole time, just letting them know that it's okay and they're doing good. Um, and I also wanted to mention the reason that I often have headphones on is just because the grooming shop is really loud and noisy, so those are noise-canceling headphones, ear protection, it's very important in our job. Okay, now that his nail trim is all done, it is time to start the brush out. So um, I'm gonna take a firm slicker brush and just start working on all of those areas that had some matting. So I take my firm slicker brush and I start at the head of the dog and I usually start with their ears on golden doodles because they tend to have really thick ears that can get some matting and this little guy's ears actually are in pretty good shape but a lot of times the ears are a spot that you do have to demat. You can see I am going to use the slicker brush over his entire body but I'm just going to focus on some of the areas that are a little bit heavier matted um, that I was showing you earlier. So that's his chest his belly, his tail, and his back legs. And those are areas that are kind of the common spots that get matted. And that's for several different reasons. Sometimes it's because where the dogs lay, the hair is more prone to matting, so the belly and the, and the back legs. Um, and just wherever the hair is thick and long and maybe a little bit more difficult for owners to comb through at home. So now that I have his first brush out complete, it's time to finish up drying him. So like I mentioned, I didn't have any footage of him in the bathtub or getting dry, um, dried with the high velocity dryer. But now I'm just using a regular hair dryer on medium heat so it's not very hot at all. And I'm just going to go through his entire body and make sure that he is completely dry. A lot of times with thick golden doodle coat, it gets dry on the surface but actually the curly coat underneath is still very wet. And I want him 100% dry before I start clipping him. That way the clipping is as even and as nice as possible. And in the end, if I get him completely dry the first time around, it will reduce my, my work throughout the groom. I won't have to come back and re-dry other areas. You can see how thick his coat really is. So even after I do dry him for a while, there very well may be a few areas that I miss a little bit and I'll have to go back to. But... I work quite hard to get them really dry, 100% dry the first time around so that I can just move on to the clipping and be sure that I didn't miss any areas. If you leave areas wet, um, they're definitely going to be more prone to matting, so I want to make sure that even on the insides of his ears, um, on his feet, under his elbows, that sort of thing, everything is 100% dry. So I'm going to speed up the clip here and finish drying him. <laughs>
right, so now that he is nearly 100% dry, it's time to start working on brushing out those areas that were a little bit matted. So I'm going to start with his tail. He is just so good for everything, so sometimes dogs really don't like their tails dematted and brushed out, but this little perfect guy is just so well behaved for me and doesn't seem to mind. So I'm going to use a comb and go over all of the thick areas um, that are going to be left long that I need to make sure are mat free and so his face, his ears, that sort of thing. And so first I'll use a comb to identify any areas that maybe have mats and need to be dematted and then you'll see I have a little dematting tool there. Only needed it for a few spots on his ears and it just helps really detangle and then I'll use my comb again to make sure everything is all nice and neat. Just go over his whole head because obviously his face is going to be left longer so I want to make sure it's ready to be clipped in a longer clipper comb. And then I'm going to start doing the clipping. So I start by clearing out their pads with a 30 blade. And then after I've done all four feet with a 30 blade, I'm going to take a 10 blade and do a sanitary trim and also get the areas that are just so prone to matting on dogs like mini golden doodles. So that's the armpits, the inner thighs, that sort of area. And then after I'm done with all of this clipping, I actually put him back in the cage for just a little bit with some fans on him just to finish up drying. He was still slightly damp and I wanted to make sure that before I started the body clipping, uh, he was totally dry. So sometimes with these thick co coated doodles, you do have to spend so much time drying them and sometimes just putting a fan on them for a little while is the best way to finish up um, and make sure that they're 100% dry before you start the rest your groom. So you can see I did all the armpits, the sanitary area, and he's ready to go finish up being dried under the fans for a little bit. Okay, how cute is this little guy? I just couldn't resist giving him some kisses. I just love him. So now it is time to start with his haircut and I always start at the head and work my way down the body just to stay consistent and around the base of the muzzle and the neck area is oftentimes a really thick spot that's really prone to matting so I think this dog I used um, a five blade actually right at the base of his muzzle um, just because that area is so thick that the three couldn't get through it. So if you see me changing blades at all throughout the groom, I'm usually changing from a 3 to either a 4 or a 5, just depending on what can make it through the areas of matting, but I was able to keep his body relatively long and just get out those matted areas when I needed to. So I'm going to speed up the, the footage here and I hope you enjoy watching him get groomed.
his body all clipped down. It's time to work on his head. So I use a 5 ace comb or a zero snap on his head. And because his owners like a pretty um, short and neat haircut, I use that comb on his muzzle, on his chin, um, on his cheeks, on the top of his head. So everywhere on his head, I use that 5 ace comb. And that makes my job pretty easy, but because he does have such a thick curly coat, there still is quite a bit of trimming and blending involved, even though I am able to use this clipper comb to do the bulk of the work, so you'll see all of that. Um, but in any case, this is a 5 ace comb on the head, and I think I did a 3 on the body like I've mentioned, so it's really just one length longer on his head, which is a nice way to groom a doodle, especially one that does grow hair like this guy. He just grows so much hair so quick so if you leave it much longer it becomes just hard for the owners to maintain in between appointments but um, he was such a good boy for all of his face trimming and again he's really fun to groom and he looks so adorable when he's done so I hope you enjoy watching him get his face trimmed.
Alright, now that his face is all trimmed up, it's time to start working on his feet. So I'm going to brush everything up using a slicker brush and then start my trimming. And I use mostly curved and straight shears on their legs, although I do go in with thinning scissors um, occasionally just to make sure my lines are all blended. And then in the end, I will go down the legs one more time with the blade that I'm using. Um, not every dog is groomed the same, so that is just what I do for this particular guy. But in this case, I'm going to trim them all really nice and neat and then go over them one last time at the end with my clippers. footage of me trimming his other two feet so I skipped over that part but here I am now using a slicker brush just to back brush all of his legs and his body and prepare his hair for the very last clipping so after I'm all done with all of my scissor work I use my clippers and I go back over his entire body one last time just to even everything up and it's best to do a back brush before you do that just to make sure your hair is all even. So just like I did for his first clipping, uh, for his finished clip, I'm going to start at his head and work my way down his body. And that is just best for consistency. I know what areas I've done so I won't lose track. And I also wanted to mention that once this video clip ends, I actually did a little bit more trimming on his face because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist and I noticed a few hairs that were out of place. So I didn't catch that on the video. But I did neaten up his head just a little bit after the video ended. So he turned out really nice. I was really happy with his haircut today. It would be nice if he came in with no matting and I was able to leave him a little bit longer maybe. But with his particular type of coat, maintaining a groom that's much longer than what he got today would be really difficult and it would take nearly daily brushing and combing from the owner. So for a lot of people that is just not very realistic. So his owner likes a, a relatively short cut. However, um, this is actually not too short. It looks a bit shorter on the video than it, than it actually is in person. So this turned out really nice. I was very happy with how he did today and I can't wait to groom him again in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video and if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really enjoy making these videos. I hope that you enjoy watching them and I look forward to putting out more videos in the future. Thanks again and enjoy the rest of this video.